Well, I'm at it again. Hey, it's Ben, Somerville Gardener. I'm at it again, trying to make more work for myself than what I really need to do. So what I noticed today, right over here at my lizard tower and uh, new bird bath area, I was sitting at my desk working today and noticed that I had a nifty little bee that kept flying in and out of this random bamboo pole that I had just sit, left sitting here. I guess this is partially my own laziness that I had just left a little piece of bamboo sitting right here and didn't really even think much about it. I guess I can be kind of lazy like that sometimes. It happens. So I'll put some footage up here on the screen so you can see where I've got the, the mama bee flying in and out. I thought that was pretty cool. And I was just thinking, I've got a bunch of bamboo shoots just sitting over here not doing anything. They're just some that I found laying on the side of the road, like literally. I'm guessing one of my neighbors has a, a big bamboo and it was some of their leftover stuff they didn't need and they just left it out here for the trash man. So here's the poles that I've got and these used to be a bit fresher. They still had the yellow and green lines going down them and those have all I think since passed and faded so I'm thinking I could have probably planted some of these nodes that are right here and had my own little bamboo forest going for free with these exact canes but I don't know what kind of canes these are and so I think I might just find a place to get some bamboo and plant myself three maybe even four more bamboo plants around just so I've got extra garden stakes and it'll make some you know pretty foliage and stuff. So last night my wife and I got online and started looking around and there's a huge bamboo farm that looks really cool called Tropical Bamboo down in the, uh, the West Palm area of Florida. So I think we're gonna head down there here in a couple weeks and see if we can find some bamboo. So look forward to those planting videos coming up. But for today, I'm gonna grab some of these bamboo sticks right here, bring them over here to my outdoor workstation thing that I got going on here. And I'm just going to use the little chop saw here to cut them right behind the nodes. And in addition to grabbing some more sticks for the mama bee that's a, uh, I think she's a leaf cutter. She keeps taking little pieces of leaf, leaves and sticking them in the little stick. But I also found this tube right here sitting in my garage it's you know it's nothing fancy it's from a, an old stove or something i think and so I, I gave it a nice little wiggle like this i drilled a hole in the top threw a screw in there and i'm thinking if i put this on a fence post and toss in some of these cuttings and what i was thinking was something like this right here just cut this off right here behind the node so that it would be all open right here and then where the next one was open then that'll basically become the uh the next back end of the next cutting and these are some nice long i don't know 16 18 inch long probably pieces so i might have to trim these down just a little bit but the mama bees should be able to use these both the mason and the uh the leaf cutter bees because i've seen both of them around here they'll be able to use these to make some little bee homes and then we'll have some baby bees then for next year and that'll be really cool i do feel a little bad that this little guy right here he's gonna end up losing his home kind of sort of just a little bit this is a little tiny baby anole right here let me zoom out so you can see just how tiny this guy is yeah that guy's tiny zoom into that guy again hey buddy how you doing sorry i don't mean to destroy your home i promise go eat some bugs for me i do love my baby anoles they are really cute Okay, so this should be enough for now to get me started. I'll go ahead and cut a bunch more of these things. Got them about the same uh, distance long, and they'll hold up pretty good on that uh, little tube thing. I hope. Eh, it should be a nice little spot to keep them out of the weather and keep the, the mama bees happy. Let's go hang it up and see what happens. So I'm reading that the best place to hang this thing is gonna be on the south-facing fence, which I have one right over here, just happens to be right behind my American Beauty Berry bush. Whoops, just scared off squirrel. All right, apparently I planted a few other things back here as well, but I'm pretty sure if I hang this thing on the fence post, something like that, I can throw those sticks in there and it'll be nice and sheltered from the storm. That should work. Pretty secure, rain shouldn't get inside. All right, let's straighten this thing up just a little bit from the curviness of it and toss some sticks in here and see what happens. There we go, that's kind of straight, but angling down. This should work. Okay, here's my starter pack of sticks. And I'm gonna be putting all these things in here so that, that uh, the node end right here is towards the back. So it shouldn't really need a back plate because 
when the bee goes inside of here, it'll be able to pack the leaves, the mud, or whatever it is that's packing in between the little eggs and the pollen for the, uh, the little guy. And this should work real well. I'm gonna go ahead and cut as many more as I can shove into this thing, and then maybe bind them up with some 550 cord or some kind of twine or something, just to hold them steady in there so that they don't come sliding and falling out. Or maybe just drip some hot glue or something in there, just to hold them together. And now, we wait. We see what happens right there. Hopefully I get a bunch of bees. Oh, the wife's gonna love that. A bunch of bees in the refrigerator. And then she's probably gonna wanna know where the honey is. I don't think I have the heart to tell her that. Mason bees and leafcutter bees, they don't give us no honey. Might even see if I can get them when they're a little chilled, hold them in my hand and be walking around the house with a bunch of bees. Oh, she's gonna love this. Oh, I hope I don't get murdered in my sleep. I'm totally gonna get murdered in my sleep. Well, at least it'll be a pretty little final resting place for me.